Eric, if that's you can what's do them up. All unbroken, hats off to you. You're a beast. Otherwise, <laughs> take your time, break it yeah. up into different sets. Eric has a very solid approach. Now that I've watched this whole video, I like his mentality, his philosophy, very empathetic, like I mentioned, very uplifting and motivating coach. Grüß mit dran, Gregor und Philipp Stark hier. Eric Leija was requested in the YouTube comment section. He's a coach from Onnit. Onnit offers a very unique approach. So let's see what Eric does with the powerful kettlebell. What's up, everybody? Today, What's I'm up, take Eric? You one of my favorite on the go single kettlebell workout 50 reps of six different movements. I like it. Sometimes it may be a little bit difficult to count once you get into a zone where like okay i'm all in and then you maybe go into a so-called orange reddish zone please Great. try to squeeze in the warm-up and the yeah. cool down all right it's gonna make you feel a whole lot better depending on the work you do with your arms in front of you it's also desk jobs but also some mechanic stuff that maybe your t-spine and your upper body is just hunched in and then mobilizing and opening up those joints and loosening up those muscles can actually be really beneficial from here i'm gonna tuck my toes under and roll that ankle All right, slow so and gently. We'll go 10 reps each Mobilizing time. the ankles. And what it also right. does is you internally rotate your upper leg, which also mobilizes the hips a little bit. And what I really like is he shows the complete warm up with the full reps. So you can just follow along. Back, Next up, knee circles. Right, we'll go 10 each yes, working those hips. Yeah. Good stuff. Good stuff, feeling man. comfortable roller with the outside edges yeah your feet. yeah right, increasing the range i want you to imagine like you're standing inside a barrel and you're trying to touch your hips to every edge of the inside of that barrel oh great that's a great cue great feedback hip. feedback try yeah. to drive that hip out so side hinge far forward then to I the front roll. great other side inside back Coming back. All the way yes. around, big. Everything that's connected to your hips, especially if you keep your knees as locked as possible, this will really mobilize and open up a lot of muscle groups that are attached to the hips. Maintaining. That's a great exercise. That width, that distance. Yeah, I actually never seen that type of warm up for the upper body, but it's great. Now, now working the neck. Down to your fingertips, and then look into your back pocket. Chin to sky. Looking to the other pocket. Yeah. These exercises are so basic that people sometimes forget about them or they think this is not necessary because it's so basic. But this is where the power lies in the fundamentals and the basics. You got six movements, 50 reps of each mm -hmm. movement. For your first movement, you got your kettlebell swing. You got yeah. 50 unbroken reps. If you absolutely need to rest, Put it down, shake it out, rest your grip. Really appreciate it. That's what coaches need. It's like, hey man, and if you need to take a break, the idea is to go for 50 unbroken. Yet, if you need a break and you got to put the bell down, put it down. Come back to it if you're rested and get back at it again. Start in the hike position. No slack in the arms. I keep a nice, proud chest. Yep. I hike it to start. And then I keep it going, trying to. So that's throw the heart the style swing. As far forward as I can. Look at Don't this. Don't worry about. Beautiful hinge, man. That's what it's supposed to look like. He waits until the kettlebell, the arms connect with the body. That's when he engages with the hinge, properly really sticking out the hinge, uh, the hips, solid crisp. And then boom, he comes up. He got his shoulder blades depressed. The lats are engaged. The side is horizontal. And look at his shins. Look at his shins. Exactly. They don't move. That's what happens when you work your hips only. On it, they somehow got their own approach a little bit. I think when you look at what John Wolf was doing, yes, we could say this is hard style influence, but it's not completely explosive. So it's kind of its own vibe. Offset push ups. Offset kettlebell push ups. Right, you can break this up however you want. I wonder how he's Here, powering through these exercises. Switch, right, yeah. or Combining. You or can going bang for one. Up all 25, keeping that core tight. Yeah. Forward pressure over the wrist. Yeah. All right, none of this. Even though, you know, this is more of like a hollow push up, if you really would go in a very, 
very arched back where your T-spine is completely rounded. This is a hollow push-up. This is a concept I've heard of. Yet most people are tired. That's why they do it like this. It's not that they want to do a hollow push-up. It's that they get tired. So he's 100% safe. About the push-up, you know, you don't need a kettlebell for this. Even though if you have an offset position, it may be that side where the hand is on the bell that that side might get a more of an intense range of motion stretch. If that is not suited for you, you can just do the push-ups in and all by itself without any kettlebells. 50 reps Two here. hand horn squat. The bell the you know what I think is so interesting is that so many different institutions coined the term completely or the exercise completely different. When you listen to Dan John, he says he invented this exercise, which is the goblet squat. Even though we do the goblet squat a little bit differently, we grab the kettlebell and then we really externally rotate the shoulder. That means we're pressing the elbows together so that the chest gets some engagement and then we go down into a squat. But they call it the two horn squat. <laughs> it's more probably like the on it animalistic primal approach. <laughs> Proud chest. We'll go 50 reps here. And you always want to keep the kettlebell as close to your collarbone as possible because then you stay in your center of mass. The only downside that I see is most people, if you do 50 reps of those, I probably would bet that you would have to put the kettlebell down, maybe not because you're getting weak in the legs, but because your biceps gives out. Go clean and press. Yeah. 25 reps. You know they call it clean to press. You see how on it puts... On it puts it differently, clean to press. We call it clean and press, but hey, that's just semantics. But sometimes I think like institutions are like, when well, we gotta give the exercises our own spin and yeah, they succeed with it. And you see, that's why we see the, the kettlebell is such a young tool in the Western world. So people just can, you know, give it some different names, even if they differ just slightly. Clean, you can use your other hand to guide the bell around your wrist, press. Boom, yeah. You can do all 25 on one side. So I will call this. Or five or 10 and then switch, or you can alternate. Stuff. Yeah. I call this a power clean. Power because you need more power to pull the bell up from the bottom if it's laying there dead than if you will go into a backswing and using momentum and ballistics. And then I would just call it a clean. So in that case, this is a power clean. And then what he does is I call this a scapular plane press. We move in the direction of the shoulder blades, right? So of your scapula. So when you move like this, this is where probably the, the scapula wants to move naturally, right? And we do, and this is more of a kettlebell sports style approach, we use the shortest distance between two points. This is a straight line where we have the arm externally rotated and then we push up right here. We don't move out, we go straight up. Don't go too far out with the kettlebell or this may put your shoulder joint in a very difficult position. So what this does is with the scapular plane press is you use a lot more muscles that move the shoulder blades. And when you go with this form, just a straight up movement, you work more efficiently, maybe use less muscle, but maybe you can bust out more reps so both approaches work the kettlebell bell. l sit to toe reach From here l sit get those legs straight all right kettlebell overhead reach for the toes now normally i'm not a fan of these abdominal exercises yet the way he does it makes more sense because the weight the kettlebell is pulling him down gravity pulls everything down in a straight line so when he engages his abdominals and he tries to reach the toes with the kettlebell that means that additional weight actually serves a purpose because the abdominals have to work against that weight so if you would say well i could just do it without a bell yes but with the kettlebell, your abdominals actually have more resistance. So it's a great way to do it. The reason why I'm not a fan of these abdominal exercises, I believe most people want abs means you got to check your nutrition. And second, if you're doing a lot of ballistic work with the kettlebell swings, clean snatches, then your abdominals are taken care of. You got those six movements back to back. Back to back. Each. Eric, if that's what's up. All unbroken, hats off to you. You're a beast. Otherwise, <laughs> take your time, break it yeah. up into different sets. Now my verdict on Eric, listen, I love what Eric does. Eric has a very solid approach. Now that I've watched this whole video, 
I like his mentality, his philosophy, very empathetic, like I mentioned, very uplifting and motivating coach. Another thing that on it does is like I mentioned, they are offering some kind of a unique spin to the kettlebell. Now, am I fond of exercises of these animal moves and that stuff that he sometimes does where he just, you know, incorporates the animal breakdance move. I call them the breakdance moves with kettlebells. No, I not a huge fan of these and I don't do them. Doesn't mean that you shouldn't do them and doesn't mean that they don't have any value. No, it doesn't. It's just, I would call it, it's more than John would call it like this. It's you do more. I'm such a fan of the fundamentals and the basics that most people need so much time to drill them down pat. And then once they're down pat, this is where the fun begins. So while I see that on it does offer a unique approach to kettlebell training because it's also a, some kind of branding, I believe. I think some of it has merit and is valuable and some of it I think it's just best to stick with the basics. But he also incorporated the basics and these exercises are great. He incorporated the hinge, the pull, the, the, the squat, the press, the rotation, anti-rotation, these important movement patterns. And then he adds some abdominal work. And most people want the abdominal work because sometimes you tell people, listen, abdominals are all about nutrition. Yeah, I know. And then they still they do crunches and sit-ups. So sometimes a coach gives you what you want, but he also gives you what you need. And that's what Eric is doing. And his form is solid 100%. He only has 70,000 subscribers on YouTube. And I think on Instagram, he's a little bit stronger. But still, you see, that's the problem with actual experts they are not as popular as influencers who just pick up kettlebells never really focus on them and then they get millions of followers so that's a huge difference not downplaying anybody i think if you hustle for those followers then you deserve it yet we need some peer review material to see where actual experts what they think about these influencers so eric lays out 100 solid powerful stuff thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video like it consider subscribing if you want to see more kettlebell content and if you're looking for a kettlebell program that builds you up from a beginner to a slowly advanced trainee in the course of about three months and you maybe want to combine it with some easy to follow nutrition coaching because maybe you want to lose weight or you want to get in shape then check out 90 days of kettlebells you find the link in the description 14 day free trial included